My name is Stephanie, but I go by my handle Random Girl Singing on Twitch, where I've been live streaming for the past four years and making money exclusively performing as a musician live on the internet. Today we're making this video to talk about why artists are making the switch to live streaming, how to get a live stream up and running, and all the tools that you're going to need to get your stream going and take it to the next level. We have a lot to cover today, but be sure to check out the description box below for timestamps on the topics we go over and links for you to visit for more information. So let's get started. So first off, why would a musician want to live stream? Well, at the time that we're filming this video, there's a global pandemic. Businesses are closing their doors, artists are missing out on gigs, so it's a better time than ever to learn new ways to reach your fans and keep performing digitally. Streaming is a lot of fun and offers a level of flexibility that performing at venues doesn't. You can set your own schedule, perform anytime you want, for as long as you want, and never even have to leave your house. You can also make different types of content. For example, instead of just performing a straight set list, you could take song requests in real time, host writing sessions, learn a new instrument, try some new material out. You could even take your viewers behind the scenes of your latest recording or production project. The sky's the limit for creativity, and that's why artists are really enjoying their time online. You also have the chance to engage with fans on a more personal level. You can talk to them, answer their questions, and really let your personality shine through as not only a musician, but a broadcaster. And yes, you can still earn money through tips, platform royalties, ad revenue, merchandise, sponsorships. Musicians with larger and smaller audiences are doing all of these things, and it's very possible that you can too. Let's take it piece by piece and talk about the different steps that you're going to need to take and the tools that you'll need to get your music stream up and running. You are going to need a website to stream to. Now, there are a lot of platforms to choose from, but I'm going to be focusing on Twitch because it's what I know, it's what I use. Also, Twitch was built for live streaming. It has a massive audience consuming live streamed content compared to its competitors by far. And it also has a very robust music section with a dedicated staff and resources to help get you started on there too. Create your account, set up your profile, check out your channel settings, and then pay special attention to the information panel section of your profile. This is where you're going to include extra info like links to your social media and music pages, as well as a link to receive tips through stream elements once you get all of that set up. We'll talk more about that later. Some of the best advice that I can offer you here is to really take your time to get familiar with the platform. You wanna understand the viewer experience. And if you're looking to grow your brand on a platform and not just provide a host space for your existing fans to come visit, it's really helpful to understand the culture and how everything works there. So I'd encourage you to explore the infrastructure of the website. On Twitch, this means browsing through the music and performing arts section and getting a handle on the tagging system. And while you're there, it's helpful to explore a network. Visit some other channels, see what's working for other people, gain inspiration, try chatting in channels, become a fan and make friends. Let's talk about hardware. If you already do some type of home recording, chances are you might have everything you need to get started already. First off, you're going to need a computer with internet access. Streaming from a phone just doesn't always offer the same quality and stability that streaming from a computer does. So the types of tools that we'll be talking about require that you use a computer. You're also going to need an audio source. My guess is that you guys being musicians probably know more than I do about your particular setup and what you'll need, but a popular basic option to get you started would be either a USB connected microphone or a USB connected mixer or audio interface that you can plug all your equipment into. Either of these things should be just fine to get you started. You're going to need a camera. One popular choice is an external webcam because it's usually a big step up from a built-in computer web camera, but a lot more affordable than a DSLR, mirrorless camera, or camcorder. If you already do have a digital camera and you'd like to use that, I'd highly recommend checking out the products on the market that can help streamline your video feed. Uh, one very popular option is the Elgato Cam Link, and that's what I use, and I love it. Okay, now we'll move on to a very important component of your live stream, which is streaming software. 
Streaming software is what you're going to use to produce and broadcast your live stream to the website that you're using. This is where you're going to route your audio, video, and any graphics like overlays so that your viewers can see them. It's what I'm using to record this video right now. I recommend OBS Studio or OBS Live. So now that we've covered all of that, let's talk about why you'd want to use Stream Elements. Stream Elements is a suite of streaming tools designed to make streaming easier and more fun and help you engage with your audience and make money. It's free to use, and there are a ton of helpful tutorials out there to explain the different features and how to use them. We'll pop some links in the description box below to help get you started. If you've taken the time to browse through a streaming site and check out other channels, you'll notice that broadcasters often have other things going on besides a straight video feed. Maybe they have an alert that pops up when they gain a new follower or a chatbot that responds to commands. After you've set up your profile on a streaming site, then you'll be able to connect your account to Stream Elements and access all of those cool features and tools. There's a lot you can do with Stream Elements, so I suggest you browse through the site and check out all the different tutorials to help get you started. One very important thing you might want to familiarize yourself with is how to use an overlay. An overlay is a graphic or a web source that's placed over your camera feed to display information from your streaming software. Some people like to design very intricate overlays that display a lot of information, such as a chat feed, subscriber goals, tip goals, latest followers, scrolling text, you name it. Other people like to keep it pretty basic with maybe just an alert box or an event list that shows them what's happening in real time. Stream Elements has put together a free library of pre-designed overlays called Super Themes that you can customize and add to your streaming software. I highly recommend checking out this feature. Whichever type of overlay is right for you, you're going to need to know how to use overlays in order to display this information. We'll drop a link below in the description for a helpful tutorial on how you can set up and use overlays on your stream. Chatting is a very important component of live streaming, so it's a really good idea to familiarize yourself with the Stream Elements chatbot, maybe set up some custom commands or timers. The chatbot can help moderate spam and relay information in your channel. Even though you have information panels, Using chat commands is a popular and quick way for viewers to find information about you and your channel. The chatbot can help automate some of this information. For example, if you want to link somebody to your latest music release or let them know that you have a YouTube or other social media channel, you can set up a custom command or timer to let them know right there in the chat. Your fans love to support you, and there are a couple of ways that they can do that through Stream Elements. One way is by setting up and selling your very own merchandise in the SC Merch Hub. It's really easy to set up, free to use, and Stream Elements has thought of everything here. Once you create some products, the Merch Hub will guide you through setting up chat commands and timers and graphics to display on your information panels to let viewers know about your store. They also carry the highest profit margin in the industry, with ethically sourced, high quality products, and you don't have to lift a finger to print or ship, Stream Elements vendors will take care of everything. Another way is by setting up your tipping page. Once you do this, you'll be able to accept payment either through SE Pay, their own in-house payment system, or PayPal. You also have the option to trigger alerts on screen whenever a viewer tips you. These are some pretty awesome ways to encourage monetization using the Stream Elements platform. There's no one right way to stream. Everybody starts somewhere, but there are a ton of tools and resources available to you through Stream Elements to get started and take your stream to the next level. I encourage you to join the Stream Elements Discord server where you can chat with other streamers who use Stream Elements and gain 24-7 support. Thank you so much and happy streaming!